boys, boys, boys and girls. Okay, just a quick one. So that I can show you what the problem is here. As you can see, I build another table here so that I can see what the points are doing. Now, somebody mentioned there that I can always change the throw over to this side. No, that's not the problem. The problem here is what I did not keep in mind when I did design the, the um, layout on SCARM is this problem here. The distance center to center between these tracks. Because the way I had it there was something like 120 mole center to center. There's no way you can do that. Because these tracks would be so close together that if I come here with a big loco and I want to put it down, you're going to bump stuff next door to it over. They're big and heavy and cumbersome. You know, it's going to be a problem. So this is why I wanted to space them. So it looks now that I need 50 between these to space it up to 20 over there, which means I did lose a line here. But I did make a plan. Look, I still got one, two, three lines here, main line over there, and main line over here. All right, so there's main line, main line, three parkings, longest one 21 meters, shortest one about 16. All right, so there's still plenty place to park. Now, walk with me. Let me show you what I did with the plan. Look, my power might go off now. Then we bug it. But um, uh, you see what's happening here. We are busy, busy cutting boxes. Um, AY boxes. And they are the ones that's finished. Those will be painted tomorrow and made nicely. All right, walk with me. Let me show you. So this is the layout now. All right, so there's a lot of things that changed here. You can see that there's less lines, and there's, I've lost one there and one here. All right, that's fine. But instead of the islands that I had over here, um, it's now more fluent almost. It flows better. And I specifically like this because I can build my grain silo there, and with the radius as here being over 4 meters, hooking and off hooking rolling stock there won't be a problem. Now remember I said to you I want to do the steel factory over here. And that corner there up down up to here was like 12 meters. However, if I haven't done the tables on this one yet. But if I do my table here now and I leave an 800 millimeter door gap there. You and, and I build a biggish building here at the back. You won't see that from this point of view here when most people are going to stand and look at this layout. So then I can continue my steel factory in there. Follow the pencil, you see. And that's over 7 meters extra. All, right. All I need is an island here to be able to walk in to get to the points here, this bit here. Because those are important. Um... Guy asked me today, so why don't you go digital? Yeah, I can go digital on the points, but I don't want to. Yet, my grandfather was a barn meester. If he could do it as a, for a living, I can do it here. I want to run my trains. I want to operate my layout. I don't want a little Japanese in a black box doing it for me. No, no, no. I want to do it myself. All right, so now you see what happened here. The only thing I don't know yet is how I'm going to do the narrow gauge. I've chucked the idea of building a 400 millimeter gauge um, railway here. I'm going to build the 32 mil in there and run it down. Maybe do a dog bone here and a dog bone there. I need 4 meters for a full bend, 2 meter radiuses um, for them to be comfortable. So I'll make a plan because I've got huge spaces here and I've got quite a big space here. The, the, the problem is going to be here. Uh, I might make those shorter or whatever. Adapt it so I can take the corner here. And then, uh, oh man, that will be nice. So the narrow gauge will serve the steel factory. <laughs> How is that for you? Well, look, uh, speak to me in the comments. Um, give me ideas so we can see where we're going with this. If you find this okay, or what you would do. 
look, I look at all of them and I listen. So, um, let's just see. So, your 3D is like that. Now, I've already made the height of the steel factory there. All right. So, that, that narrow gauge will run up top here and then come down. And then turn and come climb back up and do a loop. Um, that is the plan. Now, I will do my grain silo over here while well, this side and then that side you can do nice little um little buildings and office blocks and whatever and you can actually start with a board here all you need there's a meter to be able to walk through you will need 800 there there's going to be a gate here that we can open and wara 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 um so i must just sort out how i'm going to do that narrow gauge in there but i'm going to worry about that last let me just build the tables for the main layout first and then we'll worry about the rest um okay just just back with me um another thing that's bugging me tremendously is the fact that i'm not entirely sure if you look on the floor here this is my radius coming out from that table there. Remember I said to you last time, and I marked it here now with a pen here. I think I'm going to build it from here, from that, that, that mark. It's going to be very close to the garage door here. That's about a door width. Okay, but then it, it dog bones in. So that'll give you that space there where the ladder is to the side for the oaks to walk up and down in front of the layout. And then the other side we will also lose... Uh, by the doors, um, obviously where the, the bend is, but there will be a flap so we can go in. All right, so yeah, I built that little, extended the table right up to there, so I can put another board on, but I haven't got enough hours in a day. It, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You know, I need to get orders out. I need to get stuff done. But boys, that's where we are. Okay, so let me know what you think, and then... Uh, Rikus will listen. Look, uh, look at the steel factory. <laughs> now, you see, so the other, the other bit will be right in the middle here. Okay, with just a walk through there. If I have eight under there, that other table will be here. And I can continue with the steel mill. So the steel mill will be standing this side. And I'll leave myself at 1.2 here. Or, yeah, 1.2 like this here. So there is plenty of space here for buildings. There's only three tracks here. And can you imagine how pretty that will be? And then as you go over from the steel factory, this other point will come out there. My, my grain silo will stand over there with all its um, add-ons. And then I'll do the timber thing on the other side. All right. Because um, that's basically all I want. I want timber. I want a cattle loading ramp. I want the grain silos, and I want my steel factory, with the steel factory being the main attraction of this layer. Um, that is the plan. Okay, dudes, I'm going to go. Say goodbye. Okay, sleep tight. And then, we, oh, yes, and before I go, thanks a mole for the subscribers. It looks like we're for Blinderay, Carols. We're for Blinderay. I think we're on 956, so we need 44 more, and we're famous. All right. Lekker jelle, thanks allemaal, man. Oké, okay, spreek tijd de goed tot ziens.